My name is John Magiro Wangare, the founder of Magiro Hydropower and director Hydrobox. I was in class three the time that I tried to come up with a solution of getting power in my home. I come up with a wooden turbine, which was being rotated by the water and then rotate the dynamo. The dynamo was generating about 0.5 watts, so it could not be more to be used in my home and also to the home of my brother and the community. From class 4, class 5, I started keeping the rabbit. I sold all my rabbits so that I can be able to get the finance of uh, getting one car alternator. I get one car alternator, but the alternator did not perform because uh, it needed some static magnets so that generate power. The time that I fixed the permanent magnet inside the alternator, it generated more than 24 feet. And then now I have put the permanent one, so it generated double. So the time that I did my KCSC, I was connected more than 15 customers. The boy was a, a, a special boy with a challenge of reading, a challenge of writing. But when he was in Form 1, the boy told me that he has a talent and the talent is generation of hydroelectric power. Sometimes in 2014 we ran an award and uh, this particular innovation emerged victorious in terms of the energy category that was basically sponsored uh, by WWF. We got an individual who was uh, generating uh, power from a uh, bicycle path at a river basically with a small uh, falls. We were able, uh, with support of WWF, to give him a grant that enabled him to uh, uh, refine, uh, improve on, 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 on the project. The time that we joined with the NetFad, I was generating about uh, uh, 4 to 8 kilowatts. But after we met with the NetFad, I generated more than 35 kilowatts. We had been able to connect uh, more than 3,000 customer uh, end user. We had been able to connect more than uh, 16 schools. The anchor customer that is a factory, Create Tea Factory, that is using more than uh, 160 kilowatt hour. When uh, WWF and NetFund partnered about eight years ago, uh, the concept that was uh, uh, developed by Magiro was uh, so powerful and so different he created an opportunity for more than 3,000 households um, that is now powered by this hydroelectric uh, power. Magiro's uh, story is very, very inspirational that a youth in um, a remote place like this can be able to innovate um, a solution that can be able to provide energy for communities in, in this place. When I met John, I saw somebody who was able to realize uh, something very significant, uh, but he was struggling to scale it up. We deployed this concept of containerized hydropower stations together in Kenya and scale up and build further on the realizations of John Magiro. I thought, what is the support that he needs to be really successful? And it was access to finance, it was getting the business model right, it was a good marketing strategy and then scalability. A solution like this provides you know, clean quality energy, affordable energy and also contributing to reduction of um, uh, greenhouse emissions and therefore reduction of impact of climate change is very, very commendable. These are some of the innovations that you really need to showcase uh, to amplify uh, the rallying call by our president that Africa has a lot of opportunities. We can be a solution to the climate change issues that we face as a country, uh, that we face as a continent, and, uh, and, and, and as a globe. <laughs>